From Hollywood, California, where parking tickets cost more than dinner for 10 at the Olive Garden, it's the Josh McCuga Show. Tonight's guests, Aaron Robinson and Perry Nemiroff. And now your host, a guy who had to vouch for best being cool to his four-year-old nephew, it's Josh McCuga. All right, welcome back to the Josh McCuga Show. Guys, before we get into it, uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at Josh McCuga. Subscribe to the channel here on the show. Tell all your friends about it. You can, uh, if you want to buy one of those like big signs and tie it to an airplane at the beach, and he's like, the guy flies back and forth, you could do that. Uh, <laughs> subscribe to our Patreon campaign, help support the show. Uh, guys, tonight, my guests, uh, they are two very, very lovely girls. You guys have seen them all over. You have Perry Nemiroff from Collider and Aaron Robinson from Clever. All right. Hey. I feel like I had to cheer for myself there for a minute. Yeah. Well, you can clap because we all kind of work in the same industry. We talk to famous people on red carpets uh, or at junkets or about them on the news or just to a camera with a green screen. Yeah, totally. What was, like, your entry into the world of this? My entry, like as in junketing or in general. Like, where did you pop the cherry? <laughs> I pop you take this, Aaron. Just go I pop I'm just gonna sit. I back. ask questions for a living. Where did you pop <laughs> the cherry? I, I pop. I popped the journalism cherry yes. at New York One in Manhattan. Whoa! And I was. They call it a camera, a camera assistant, a news assistant. That's what it is. Nice. And they hired tiny little girls like me out of undergrad, and they put those that big, sounded dirty. Those big shoulder because <laughs> they, they give you those shoulder cameras. You know, like the big, the yeah. big things, and they give you like a a backpack full of batteries and a huge tripod, and you go out, and you got to shoot news. And in New York One, if you shoot on the weekend, you shoot like senior tango week and garbage Aww. like that. So I did that for like a year and then... Like the squirrel uh, water skiing in Anchorman? Like that? You, you know, <laughs> they'd probably be very happy with that footage. I would get all the awards if I shot that footage yes, for them, but yes. I didn't. And what about you? Did you start in like the backwoods and then you... Uh, did you I, we were talking before this yeah. shoot. If you Google, Google, I can't even talk, I'm already... You Google. I mean, if you Google, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Um, if you Google Aaron White Scott Steiner interview, um, it's probably... Did you change? It, well, because you got married. I was, yeah, I got yeah, married. Yeah, got it. Uh, it's, I start talking like this, and I'm like, Scott Steiner, you going to train me? You so fit? I mean, and I was like at the fair. I was like, I'm at the Cumberland County Fair, y'all. We're here talking to everybody on the Ferris wheel. I mean, it was so bad. That's incredible. And that was when I kind of gave it up. <laughs> so now that you guys both basically have, have worked with like a ton of celebrity, well, you know, you've done junkets. What are like some of like the better memories or a red carpet event yeah. or something that sticks out in your brain? I'm like, God, this was a nightmare. I got a bad one. Yes. It was one of my first jobs for MTV when I was Ooh. freelancing. It was Cop Out. Shit. And I was with MTV, so it was yeah. my first time being at like the front of the red carpet, having mm. a really good spot, and you know, the flashy mic flag and everything. I had a cameraman. I felt like it was just like you the hottest it. thing on. Yeah. yeah, I felt really good, and I was getting everybody, all the guests, all the stars of the movie, and then Bruce Willis comes up to me, and I was so excited because like I love who doesn't like Bruce Willis? Yeah. And he comes up to me, and I put my microphone up to his face, and I go to ask my question. I don't think a word came out of my mouth, and he goes, eh, "No," and he pushed my microphone out of his face and he walked away. What? Yeah. Willis. What was and his problem? I don't know. And I I was really upset. And then I brought the footage back to MTV. I'm like, oh God, I'm going to get fired. I didn't get a Bruce Willis soundbite. And they ended up cutting it into a package that it was like, why is Bruce Willis in such a bad mood or something? <laughs> and it was strung together with a whole bunch of things. It doesn't make That's me good. like and die hard any less, but it does make he, me... He <laughs> redeemed himself eventually, because then I did the the, uh, the junket for Red 2. And uh, I, I did that junket too. I was oh. in New York. Yeah. I was there. I was sweating bullets before going into that room. I was so nervous. I'm like, he's just going to hate me all over again. Oh. I walked into that room, and what they do when you go in is they announce you. They're like, Perry Nemra from... Yeah. I might have been Collider. I think it was coming soon, actually. And they announced me, and he goes... Perry, like he knew me and he got all excited. He's like, I love that name. Like it's a P name and I'm looking for one right now because I think like there was some sort of kid to be had in their family. But he, he goes <laughs> on and on about my name and then, you know, you get four minutes in these situations. So yeah. you need every second you can to get good Sound bites about the movie. Yeah. Shut up. For like, I think I was asking like the last question in my in my little pod time and he goes, you know what? I just got to stop you right there. 
you were rocking those bangs. And I don't think there's any nicer thing. You said it to me when I walked in. Yes. And I'm like, I'm going to like you. Because there's no nicer thing in the world <laughs> that anybody can say to me except that they I like my bangs. So, so Bruce Willis has redeemed himself oh, in my I eyes. That's a beautiful ending. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Do you have anything Art. like that in your Not so bad. So Morgan Freeman was um, walking the carpet for something. I can't remember what it was. Oh, it was Olympus Has Fallen. Okay. He was in that. There were two... Yeah. yeah, it was Olympus' fault. <laughs> and he was, of course, had nothing. He, he was like, oh, I have to go. You know, when you're at the end of the carpet, like, we usually are in just digital. Screaming. Yeah, you're like, Idris! what do you want? <laughs> what are you doing later? <laughs> and um, he walks over to some girl and, like, just had a moment with her. And he was like, he touched her. And he's like, your hands are cold. And then he touched me. And he's like, your hands are cold. And I was like, yes, they are. <laughs> And I couldn't formulate questions. I was like, they're so cold. And he was like, let me fix that. And he puts my hands in his armpits, and he just holds them there. And I'm just sitting there with my mic in my armpit and my hands in his armpits. And he was just waiting, and I was waiting. And I was like, I just, there's no more beautiful moment than that in life. And then he just walked away. And, and then that he said, was I'm it. never washing these armpits again. I smelled them, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't smell like anything, so he has great hygiene, but I did just smell. They smell like why wouldn't you? I mean, you would totally smell them, too. Yeah, of course. I, I wish my hands were do. cold at the Ben Hur junket. <laughs> Oh, sorry, next time. Yeah, next time. Had you known, straight for the armpits. <laughs> next time, I'll hold a cold bottle of water and see well, what happens. I think this leads perfectly into our game tonight, which uh, we've never played before. We're calling mm -hmm. it, You Get One Question. Ooh. You've worked in many a red carpet. You know when you're at the end of a red carpet or anywhere in the red carpet, you get the, the publicist with the binder, and she comes to you, Can you get one question? We gotta, we gotta go. Uh -huh. One question. You I know, got I it? I hate that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's the worst. Anything that you want to ask this person, ask it. Are okay. you ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. Justin Bieber. What's oh. wrong with you? <laughs> All right. We'll I give, guess that counts. Harry, right away. What's wrong with you? Okay. Okay. I will answer as Justin Bieber. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'd probably ask him what's in his refrigerator. What's in his mm. refrigerator? Yeah. Okay. I'm just curious. Because he seems like he has, like, old takeout. <laughs> like, Chinese food that smells really bad and, like, you know, I feel like, from, like, three months ago. Yeah. He, like, there's probably some condoms or something in there. Like, oh. Refrigerated condoms? Is that a Should thing? They expire, right? Do you don't want them to go bad? <laughs> you don't want them to go bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's better to be safe than sorry. That's true. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Ne <laughs> next uh, celebrity, you get one question. Melania Trump. Oh, that's Wife cool. of the Donald. Can I say the same question I have said before? <laughs> no, you gotta give me another one, Perry. How big is it? <laughs> oh my God! Yep. You know, yeah. I just am curious, you know. And she would have to maybe compare it to like a fruit mm. or vegetable, perhaps. No, I want to see an actual measurement, and I want yeah. to know a girth too. Oh, uh, you, you want know? you want both? You want? I don't want nightmares no. now. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Really, I'm just really curious. <laughs> Perry, you get a question. Oh my God. As fascinating as all of that is, all I really want to know is who does his makeup and why do they do it that way? Because oh. there is never a moment where I look at him on camera and I'm like, just why? There's so many talented makeup artists out there. How does nobody tell him that he, this does not look funny? Yeah. And yeah. I, I, dead serious, I want an answer to that question more than anything. Do you think he anything. gets a spray tan? in my life. Yeah. Like, yeah. What if he gets mm. naked for a spray tan and then spray oh my tan God. knows how big it is? So maybe that's a good question Another for spray, yeah, too. spray tanner, yeah. Yeah. I like how all, no, no actual personal questions about Melania Trump. Like, have you been drugged for the last 20 years? I've left for the years. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Leslie Jones, star Aww. of Ghostbusters. What would you ask hmm. her? Where would you take me on a girl's date? Is it weird that I, and my mind immediately went to fondue? I don't know why that. Ooh. Like that was the first thing I'm like, ah. Chocolate or both? No cheese. Cheese. Yeah, okay. or like the oils with the meats, and then it's like cheese yeah. for to appy, yeah. little appy cheese, you know, like with the bread, yeah. and the cheese, the four cheese, <laughs> and then some oils with some meats, probably like the the, the steak and the tri tip. So what's the fondue the question for her? She said like a girl date. I was like, oh, fondue sounds fantastic. Yeah, I feel like it's more of like a Netflix and chill type of Netflix. I don't think Leslie Jones chills. Oh yeah, I think you go out and you shred. Yeah, I'd buy that. I'd buy that. Yeah. 
I, I would go serious and like what keeps her happy and motivated and feeling confident because it was like the Emmys where she just got up there and she made a joke about all the terrible stuff she's been through. Yeah. I, I really just admire her. She's a cool chick. Because like I get one bad comment on any video and I'm like, oh, mm, that yeah. sucks. You get a hundred you get a hundred good ones and then you see the one that's like, yeah, hey, I think Makuga's put on weight. I'm like, fuck. It's true. <laughs> okay, you're, Can I take my question yeah, back? Go ahead, I actually want to ask her what she really thinks of Ghostbusters. That's what I, that's what uh, I really want. Really, what is she doing? Yeah. Okay, finally, uh, your last uh, person, uh, Josh Makuga. You guys might know him from certain places. Uh, your local Ralphs. What is your putting uh, secret? What is my uh. putting secret? <laughs> How do I make my putting Parkinson's go away? <laughs> Please help me. It's a golf question. Perry and I have played golf. Yeah. Oh, I did yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Are you good? Not as good as he is. She can play. We did the Happy Gilmore. I almost killed a small yeah. family walking on and the golf course. You were the only one who made contact. Yeah. I'm very. Je I don't have a Happy Gilmore I swing, and it Happy breaks Gilmore. my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I love Happy Gilmore, and I can't hit the ball like he can. That's okay. Nobody's okay. perfect, Perry. Um, I did get in the bucket on the driving range. It's true. I don't, this is like another language. <laughs> I don't, I don't, buckets but what would you ask Josh McCuga as a question? How do you feel about the word moist? <laughs> oh. It's right in that wheelhouse of being like really uncomfortable <laughs> and totally fine with it. Like when we're talking about cake, great. And we're talking about people's bodies, not cool with the you word draw moist. A line <laughs> yeah. with human I, I revert back to 12 stuff. I'm like, hey. <laughs> uh, Perry, question for me? Oh, you already... I, I wanted my golf question answered. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I, I practiced putting in my basement since I was 10 years old, just all night long when I was a little kid. Is that also in this apartment? No. <laughs> I did have a long Everything putting thing between bedrooms for a while, but then that got thrown out when she your, moved your in. Your apartment's like a labyrinth. It is. Yeah. <laughs> there's a kitchen. You haven't even been in the kitchen yet. Not yet, but it's I right feel like there's going to be a set in there. It's beautiful picture of Hollywood. Like <laughs> <laughs> uh, Emerald Goss in there recording his new Amazon yes. special. Yeah. <laughs> Bam! Uh, okay, that was, you get one question. We will be right back here on the Josh McCuga Show after we're from our sponsor. We'll be right back. The Josh McCuga Show is brought to you by Loudmouth Golf. They've solved the age-old problem of how to clothe your body from where your shirt stops and your shoe starts. They've made pants. It's pants? Pants. 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 Their one hole, two hole patented design covers your crotchal and butthole region all the way down to your toes and where your shoes start. I believe these pa pants, these pants will revolutionize the world. Loudmouth golf for your body. Guys, welcome back to the Josh McCuga Show. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Josh McCuga. Uh, subscribe to the channel here. Tell all your friends. Uh, help us with our Patreon campaign. You'll see links in the description. And um, you, as you can tell, we're releasing episodes every other Wednesday. We're working on some new content. We're going to do on a weekly basis. You'll see that soon. Uh, we'll get you guys all involved in that. Uh, well, welcome back, my guest, Aaron Robinson, Perry Nemiroff. Guys, thanks for being here. Yeah. First part, we talk a lot about business, right. fun stuff like that. Let's get into some personal stuff. Oh. I like mm. to talk about life. I mm. like, you know... How does a guy grab your attention? If you were like, I know you're married, yeah. so you haven't really been on the market for a long time. Oh, tough. And, and Perry, I feel like drunkenly at Dennis's birthday, like, so what's the guy, like, what do you like, guy? Like, tell me about a guy. I like, actually think that did, that discussion did happen, yeah, yeah. now like, that I'm remembering like? it. I think I was like pitching every dude in the office, like, why don't you like him? Because that's all I had at that point. You're such a matchmaker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was very effective, clearly. <laughs> What, like, for you, I mean, like, how did your husband, how did you guys meet? Was this We like, were set up on a blind date. Oh, get out so of here. So it's kind of random and weird yeah. and it doesn't happen often. No, what? we saw um, Horrible Bosses. Oh, that's a pretty good movie. Mm, kind of. Well, don't um, you think a blind, don't you think like a first date in a movie is a bad idea? It is, because you don't get to know the person. Correct. You know, we had, a, we had like a four hour dinner beforehand. Four hour? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Was that how good the connection was? So good. I oh, I man. left the Grove at like 1 a.m. and I called my best friend on the East Coast, so it was like 4 in the morning. And I was so tipsy and I was like, oh my gosh, I think I've met my husband. And she's like, you are so stupid. <laughs> like, never call me again. <laughs> Bye. 
And but I was so right. We also aren't really close anymore. <laughs> hey, Erica, she thanks for helping. She didn't show up at my wedding, but it's Get fine. Get the phone oh, right here. No, was it because of that phone call? I don't know. She, she it started there, yeah. you know. But um, I don't know. I think that I love a guy who doesn't take himself too seriously, who's willing to make a weird face and, like, fake fart and, like. I real fart. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I draw the line. Sorry. <laughs> just kidding. But I don't know. There's something about just not taking yourself too seriously that I like. Perry? There's a lot of things, which is probably why I'm still single. <laughs> a deal breaker, though, is someone who's super messy. Uh. Oh. So it's like, Ooh. like if you take me out and I get in your car and your car is absolutely filthy, I might just get out so and go if home. If you're at a bar and a guy comes up to talk to you, you start liking him, but then you go back to his place and it's a mess. I'll judge him. And I'll never call him ever. Really? <laughs> it depends the level of messiness. Wow. I'm pretty com I'm pretty is confident that, that I could whip someone into but shape, the but thing. there's just like so far you can go with your messiness. I've been in girls' bathrooms before that are horrendous. Yeah, I've heard that too, yeah. Are you like that? No, not really. Are you lying? I might be lying. <laughs> 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 I'm not disgusting, but I'm not like I don't have the best bathroom, but a guy's bathroom that's like got crud on the toilet, mm. you know, when you lift the seat up. You, if you lift the seat up, it tells stories, all kinds of stories. <laughs> <laughs> you can really find out who a person I'm is. I'm kind of picturing when like fortune toilet. tellers use like the teacup thing. <laughs> It's what? like that, like you know when you like do tea leaves yeah, and you can see the bottom and that like tells a story or a fortune. Now I'm picturing like the underside of a guy's toilet being like that. Do it next time. It'll tell I'm you not doing it. Let me ask you a question. The first time you went to your now husband's place, it did was you lift up the toilet? Thoughtless. Oh, uh, it was one of those. Because I'm, I'm like that, sort of. Yeah, your I'm place like, is, this is really clean. Yeah. All right, guys, let's go into the deep end. This is the part. Uh, we're going to spin a w random wheel of awesome. Oh, and then boy. Whatever question pops up. You have to answer. If you would like to pass, you can pass, but we will judge you and then kick you off the show. So okay. let's spin the wheel. Come on, weird stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Weird. Most oh. embarrassing oh. moments. Oh, I have a good one. Go oh. ER. So I did theater most of my life. Yes. I was a thespian. Mm. And uh, Sunday matinee, my uh, church youth group and my youth pastor came to support me and into the woods I played the witch. Oh nice. Move over Meryl Street. Okay. Uh, and Back so up, I there's a transformation scene where she turns beautiful. Oh. Or ish. Um, I wasn't really beautiful but I had a cape oh, and stuff. prosthetics on and like I was a witch and then all the smoke starts you know billowing out and I turn and I start throwing off everything because it's the transformation. And I turn towards the audience and I had a halter top dress on, and the halter mm. top was untied, complete boobs out. Literally saw my pastor, my youth pastor, on the front row going, and I was like, I can't break character, I can't break character. So I just threw it back up and just walked off stage. It was horrifying. Everybody saw your boobs. Everyone. My entire youth group, my youth pastor. They probably prayed for me afterwards. I don't know. Oh, man. It was dark. AKA oh, all the little boys no. went home and they were like, Mom, I saw boobs! I'd be shocked uh. if they even knew what they were. But yeah, that, definitely super embarrassing. Oh, amazing. Perry Nees. Oh, my God. I was part of a round table interview for Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, nice. And Guardians of the Galaxy is my, f is my, my favorite Marvel movie okay. ever. Oh. When we did the interview, I was just super tired and out of sorts for various reasons. And during the interview, I don't know why this was set up this way, but I just like blurted out the question, so where did he find the second tape for volume two? It's the emotional crux of the movie. And it's like the second the question dribbled out of my mouth, I wanted to crawl in a hole and die. Wait, and I'm, I'm still don't get it. Oh my God, I feel so much better. I'm so happy I told the story. I'm happy we're both having a new and embarrassing huh. moment. Well, I mean like you it's, could- It's I'll... the present. The present uh, from his mom. Uh, and it's yeah, like yeah. the second the question came yeah. out of my mouth, yes. I wanted to drop dead. And I'm I'm really hard on myself mm. always. So there's been so many days where I've woken up and I'm like, I didn't know that question. I'm not worthy of being in this job. Well, we're not uh, worthy, clearly. Oh yeah. my God. Uh, I mean, I made This was the best, but I feel so much I mean, better now. Toby McGuire and I basically had like a Mexican standoff in a junket. Your worse. junket interviews are like on are anything I've ever seen. Uh, I, <laughs> 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 yeah, they're, they're, I, mean, I wish I had the nerve to ask some of those questions. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of googling too when I leave. All right, let's go into three for the road. Three minutes mm. rapid fire questions. Two, one. 
How often do you wash your hair? Every other day. Once every seven days. Uh, that's pretty good. I'm like once every two weeks. Pretty good. Do you like country music? No. Yes. <laughs> but I didn't love it until I moved out here. Really? Mm -hmm. Even in North Carolina? No. Nope. Michael Jackson or Prince? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Dunkin' Donuts or Krispy Kreme? Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. Yeah. Uh, mm. You could be the lead singer of any band in history. What band do you choose? Spice Girls. Spice Girls. Freaking mm, love Spice pretty, Girls. Yeah, the Spice Worlds are pretty solid. Meatloaf. Movie. I love them. Meatloaf. Really. <laughs> <laughs> First time anybody's ever said that, for sure. McDonald's or Wendy's? McDonald's. McDonald's. Do you sleep on your back, side, or stomach? Side. Face. <laughs> no, that's stomach. That's the same thing. Same thing. Uh, are you a cuddler? <laughs> yes. Uh, do you like what penises look like? No. <laughs> I also don't like what vaginas look like either. So I'm gender. Gender neutral. Gender neutral. Uh, what friend's character are you? Oh, I'm probably Monica. Uh, what's Jeff Raniston's character? Rachel. 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 Yeah, I'm a okay. Rachel. Uh, you ever been blacked out drunk? <laughs> this is a stupid question. In 10 minutes. Uh, who let the dogs out? <laughs> uh, ben or Jerry? <laughs> the ice cream? Yeah, Ben or Jerry. All of it. <laughs> all of the Bens and all of the Jerry's. Uh, is sexy back? No. Yes. Ooh. Uh, in in Indiana Jones or Han Solo? Han Solo. Oh, Han Solo, for sure. Uh, Scoundrel. Ever play a full game of Monopoly? No. <laughs> no. That's a funny name. <laughs> uh, that was funny. What is business casual to you? Tight. <laughs> Super tight. There we go. Not sneakers. Not sneakers. Oh, yeah, that's good. Most money you've ever spent on jeans? $300. I cleaned up vomit for it. I what? Every dollar. Yeah, how's that? 150 maybe? <laughs> Do you floss? Yeah. Every day. All right. Martini or Manhattan? Manhattan. Martini. You ever kept your socks on during sex? Never thought about it, but probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have, for sure. You ever been skydiving? Yeah. No. Jeopardy or Wheel of Fortune? Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. God, That's come on. Jeopardy. Uh, well, where do you want to get married? Well, and then we'll say, where did you get married? Where my parents got married. Oh, yeah, my sister's getting married there. Oh, that's sweet. So now I have to. ER? Um, I'd get married again in Greece. I got married in, in Myrtle Beach, which is Ooh. the, <laughs> which the, the, di the difference between Myrtle Beach and Greece are just. That's why I want to do it again. <laughs> fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. Uh, is Disneyland the happiest place in the whole? Yeah. No, it's uh, awful. Best fast food French fries. Mm, McDonald's. Burger King. Burger King. Uh, how often do you call your parents? Five seconds. Every once, day. Once every two weeks. <laughs> if you had a band, what would you call it? Pinemis. Shush. <laughs> Aaron Robinson, very number one. Girls, uh, I had a blast. I hope everybody who's watching had a blast. You both are absolutely fantastic. Thank you for being here. Uh, I wish you nothing but the best in the future, honestly. And I and I really enjoy seeing you, whatever. And I've been told that I have to tell you, you have to come on the Schmodown. No, I'm too scared. I've, I was binge watching that shit, and I'm like in too deep, and I'm like, there's no way I can perform under this pressure. Just stress. I'm like sweating thinking about it right now. I think you guys should, should compete on the... Hell no. <laughs> no. Right? I can never. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of The Josh McCuga Show. We release episodes every other Wednesday, so subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Go to Facebook. I'm also there. Support our Patreon campaign. If you're watching The Josh McCuga Show, you're doing something right. And that something right is giving random people hugs when they don't want them.